Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to talk about window clings that you get from the Dollar Tree or anywhere you buy window clings. Window clings are very inexpensive and today we're going to talk about 10 crafty projects that you can make using these super inexpensive, very cost effective window clings. So let's get started. So pretty much the most important thing here is laminating the window clean to give it a little bit more stability so that you can make the most out of these products. I use 5mm laminating sheet for these projects. You can see I have here a collection. Um, these are some Halloween ones and look how big they are. So <clears throat> they're big for a reason because they go on your window and they're meant to be decorative. They're very thin when it comes to the material that they use because that's what it does. <clears throat> it is supposed to just stick onto the window. It's not meant to last forever. The material is really, really thin. However, <clears throat> the designs are very cute. These are the most recent ones. I mean, I just started noticing them and I'm like, what am I gonna do with these? They're very, very cute. But how are we going to use this in our crafty projects? So today we're going to, I'm going to show you some ideas on how to use these cute and cost effective products from the Dollar Tree. So the first thing that we're going to talk about is we can use, I'm going to show you some samples. So the first, first one is I used it as like a sticker in an embellishment box. So this, I just simply put it in here added the sentiment and a little bit of a tiny type sentiment right here and this I decorated my embellishment box so it acted like a sticker instead of a window cling just like that super simple super big super awesome if you wanted to you can also put this um, you can put this on top of a rosette and everything so this is since this is a smooth surface it easily sticks to your embellishment box so that's the first one the second one is you can use it as a gift tag what I did is I laminated most of these are all laminated so that gives this specific image like the images that we have the stability so imagine like these products you make them in you turn them into oversized die cuts and you do that by simply laminating them and fussy cutting them. I used a 5mm laminating sheet that I got from Amazon. I'm going to put a link down below. And all you need to do is peel them off and laminate them. And it's going to, it's going to give you that amazing factor like this. So I laminated it, fussy cut it. Punched a hole for the ribbon and then added a sentiment and an itty bitty spider for my friend Jen. So I thought this would be so cute to add in your October daily. So this is this one. So, so cute. The next one is I turn it into a card. So this one. So this card came from, from the, um, the graveyard one. This one. So. This one is this. I laminated it. And then I used my Barely Art Glue because the Barely Art Glue, you guys, they dry clear. So you won't even see it. And then I, I stuck it in this paper, this folded paper, and made a card. So as you can see, this is the exact same thing, but I decorated it with some Happy Haunting stickers. I'm going to put a link down below for you as well. Um, these are all elements of the Happy Haunting I think this is from the icon stickers. So I'm going to put a link down below for you. I got this from Three Craft Chicks. So, so cute. And then the inside had more of the spiders that Jen gave me. And this one, the happy birthday sentiment. This is from KS Crafts. So I'm going to link that below for you as well. Super, super easy. And then I did the Lail Konkar hand-drawn borders. So I think this is a cute and... And kind of a unique way to use your window cling. And it's very sturdy if you laminate it in 5mm. So that's awesome. 
<clears throat> oh, also, I forgot to tell you, if you're going to order your Barely Arts glue um, from the website, use the coupon code CHRISTIAN10 for Barely Arts and for Three Craft Chicks if you want to get a 10% off, okay? The next one is, okay, so the card. I also made a gift card. Okay, this gift card came from this window cling right here. So what I did is, so this one I laminated, I fussy cut it, and then I traced this one right here, and then I stitched it. And then it fits a gift card. I'm going to actually give this to Lexi for her birthday. This is a gift card holder. So it fits a gift card right there. I think it's absolutely cute. That's why I put happy birthday to you. Follow your soul. It knows the way. I thought it was so cute. Like a simple gift card holder right there. So gift card holder, it's perfect. The size is perfect. I've never seen it done before where window cling, laminated window cling can turn into um, amazing projects. So I'm not going to give her a Tuesday morning. I don't think she wants to shop there, but I'm going to give her somewhere else <clears throat> Come from another, from another store. Our next project um, is a tag flip, and this is the number five project. Let me find the bear. This bear is what I used for the um, tag flip. This guy right here. And I used some pumpkin spice um, die uh, cut aparts. And these are from KS Crafts. The sentiment stickers. So this one, obviously, is just simply laminated window cling. Gosh, it is so cute. Laminated window cling right here right and I just traced it and fussy cut all these and then I made my own tag flip using some cut aparts from the pumpkin spice collection this is last year's um, 2020 fall collection from doodlebug last year look how cute there's a space for a photo space for documentation super easy right there and you can put photos right here and then same same concept same concept as before you know and then same right here like the waterfall super easy and this one spells fall um, I used one sheet of the cut apart for this specific um for this specific tag flip and then i'm thinking a photo will be right here and then handmade by christian just like that i love 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 this the tag flip it's the laminated bear right from a window cling so from now on i'm going to be looking at window clings and see the potential for them so the next one is um an accordion mini for the accordion mini, we use the ghost again. Um, let me see the ghost. Do I have the ghost? Yes, I do. So for this ghost, I use this ghost right here. And this one is a laminated ghost. And what I did was I just traced it and made it into an accordion. An accordion mini album. I haven't decorated it yet because I don't know... If it's going to be like a birthday theme or a Halloween theme because Halloween is almost over. But I put wishes. Life is a journey. I'm thinking this would be photos for Alexa's birthday. And I'm going to insert it in my um, October daily. So I think this is super, super cute to insert in your October daily. I don't know. What do you guys think? I would love to know if you have any other ideas. Because I'm only giving you 10 ideas for today in this video i would love 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 it if you have any other ideas that we can um we can do or we projects we can craft using the window clings okay so the next one which is a number seven number seven is what i did is i layered let me get the one that i used i layered all these stickers i layered it in the um, 
in the laminating sheet, layered it to make a story, and then laminated it, and then fussy cut it. I made a divider in my October daily right here. So I just put them on top of each other, laminated them, fussy cut, and this one is a specific divider in your... Um, in your October daily. I think it's absolutely adorable how it was, how it looks. I just haven't put a sentiment right here, but that's going to be like a little bit later once I know what picture is going to go right here. So I think that was a good way of, that's a good way of um, using that. The next one is, um, I think this is number eight. Number eight idea is using it as a sticker to decorate it. So I put it on top of a vellum, right? Put it on top of vellum, um, wrote, my, wrote my journaling, laminated the vellum, and then fussy cut it. And then I'm going to punch holes right here. And this is where, this is what I'm going to use. It's a, like, a, like a vellum page decor. I think it's super, super cute. We can add more details to this, but this is a starting point. I think it's absolutely gorgeous, this one, this technique. Um, and I think this poison bottle is really, really cute. So the ninth, the ninth idea is to create an oversized charm. So I've added this one. This is like this pumpkin right here. And I laminated, fussy cut it, and put a hole in it. And then I added it as a charm in my October daily. I think it's absolutely super cute right there. So my stash is growing. So it's going to be there with Frankie and the gnome. I hope you can see that. So I thought that window clings are awesome right there. And the last one, you know, I had to put a 3D there somewhere, right? So for the last and my favorite project is I used this gravestone to make a 3D treat bag. So what I did was I just, obviously I laminated it again, fussy cut it again, and then cut a partner for this. And then I measured the side panel. And then I put a little bit of shred and then added the candy. It is absolutely so cute as a treat bag for your friends to give away for Halloween or, or a Halloween party or just a gift or whatever. But this one came from this specific window cling right here. I thought that was, um, that, that was a good idea to kind of be able to 3 defy it. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, you guys. Um, I hope you were able to get some ideas on how to use your the window clings that you get at your Dollar Tree. Um, with that said, I would love, love, love it if you let me know down below which one is your favorite amongst the top 10. I would love to know also if you have any additional ideas on how we can use our window clings. These are very cost-effective products that we can use in our crafty projects so anyway i hope you enjoyed this project share and slash tutorial um i hope you would tell me which one is your favorite i would love 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 to know and thank you so much for watching and have a wonderful crafty day this is christian signing off bye guys